taking him out of my car so I could play. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, usually you find some like remote controls, uh, you, you savage everything, anything you can find in the house to get some batteries. Exactly. <laughs> that is. I even tried to steal out of my kids' car. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing there either. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but you have kids or just one kid? Uh, yeah, I have three kids. Three kids? No way, that's awesome. How old are you? I'm not gonna tell you how many I have because you wanna know how old. I don't know how old my kids are. I've got eight daughters. <laughs> I've got eight you daughters. Really that's more than either. That's why when everybody says I'm the oldest Reaper around, nobody can beat my age. <laughs> almost, almost. <laughs> Does. Oh, so you can you can get melee as a reaper. Oh shit! Sorry, John, I killed you. How can I actually kill you? Okay, no worries. I think you got friendly fire on us. <laughs> oh, I do have friendly fire on. It. <laughs> <laughs> that, I was wondering how can I kill you? <laughs> uh, these French guards I have in the lobby, and there's a few people like Atim. I got him in now for the second time. They're actually from, from our forum, they they keep on going really on our nerves when he's the next Reaper Fest and they're really good guys, they enjoy gears, they, they really have fun. They yeah. play every event. Yeah, I've seen them around in live streams and then they showed up to um Yeah, it's, it's good. I, I love I love the support from these guys. It's so we always get them in. Watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Give it! Ah, don't run out of it! Sona, she, I see you holding down the seat. Uh, Uh, in case you haven't noticed, John, uh, the characters that is, is, you don't have only the Reaper, you also unlocked uh, Trish from Bulletstorm and Grayson from Bulletstorm. They were like epic exclusive, they were very epic exclusive. They gave it actually to us uh, everything that that, if that epic had when you were like permanent Reaper. It was so nice of them. Like we unlocked all the skins, we didn't buy them, they unlocked it for us. That is awesome. I saw, I saw Trish and Grace and I was like, oh, I, know, I know a good amount about the gears, you know, lore and the story, I was like, I heard about that, I don't know yeah. who they are. <clears throat> they, were, they were exclusive for Epic, yeah, uh, quite nice to use them actually, people always say, wow, what a bunch of modders, that's the first thing they always say. Some good teams in the past. Five Reapers have lost against five normal characters, so it's nothing new. Uh, I think we lost twice. Yeah, I think two people. Have, you know, we we <laughs> we received a, a massive amount of codes from Epic when he came over to Black Tusk, and uh, we actually said that if someone beats us or somebody actually takes a flag on this other game mode. Uh, we're gonna give him a complete set of codes and he lost two of those sets. <laughs> I mean that's a complete set of Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3 codes, uh, well, it was a big prize. Wow. It was good fun. I still have a lot of codes over. I threw, I threw all together, I threw on the event, when I made it on the forum, I think 204 it was, 204 codes. 
I just gave it away because the game is getting a bit old and the P I want the people to use them. You know, if you still have a thousand codes, I mean, before I throw them away, I decided I'm going to make a Christmas, you know, calendar there and uh, we just gave it to the people that really wanted it. <laughs> Just one thing that, that I don't do, but I always write down the names of people that get like Adam Phoenix and those kind of codes, and they start selling them, uh, then they don't get codes from us anymore. And I don't like it when they make money with it. Uh, we get the guy, they, they, we, we've had some people, yeah. Yeah, we've, we've actually about six or seven of them, we've given them Adam Phoenix and uh, Savage Grenadier, and then he goes to eBay and sells them, I think, for about 50 or 100 dollars. Uh, so we thought, no, people like that, we're not, we're not going to support, yeah, all gear 3, you know, gear 3 code, people really pay a lot of money for it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know if you... Uh, they were actually on the Black Tusk forum, sorry to be like that, I'm just going to do with Black Tusk, uh, that's why I stopped doing those giveaways on the Black Tusk forum. Oops. You know, usually the guys that are playing gear 3, they have everything. Uh, we just noticed because they, they won a Adam Phoenix before, so they received one and then they want to win it again and they take it. And uh, there's some other people that really like check eBay, I don't even know that place, but uh, they say, oh, he's selling it. And he just like his block just goes and not give it away anymore. Yeah. You know, it's... Yeah. And we've had a few people that are actually saying they would like to win codes to, to make a giveaway, so I'm, I'm easy with that. But not to sell, you know, not to make money with it. That's that's very low. This Alex brand LE that is on the other side, he's actually also a permanent reaper from Mexico. Who does actually live in America now? But like I said, uh, we, we keep the lobbies up five reapers and five community players. That's why I, and it. Like he's been banned as playing as a Reaper on Reaper Fest. I'm pretty certain it's just uh, with you there and uh, the numbers are pretty up. He wanted to join. He used the back door because he didn't get an invite. Uh, he had a, uh, it's a modded account, and Epic, and Epic was was really a bit, uh, let's say, really pissed about it. Uh, uh, he does still have the Reaper because Epi can't do anything about it because it's by Black Tusk now. They can't, uh, you know, like... So, so, okay, so he wasn't, he wasn't chosen by... He was, he was, yeah, he was, and then he had a lot of account, you know, Mexicans. He does, yeah, he does. I think the kids nowadays, they, they, they learn so well. I think he's only 17 now or something. He, he really oh, he's learns really well. Younger. Yeah, he's much younger. Yeah, his universe is ripping me out, man. I can't do anything. Yeah, he's terrible. Me? I've always been into... Well, I grew up in South Africa, actually. I went to school in South Africa. I just, yeah. I came over for the motor racing to Germany because in South Africa there's like no future and uh, I just stayed here then because of the team being here and who knows what else it's like you, you've got no future in racing by the South Africa there's only one racetrack <laughs> a racing driver uh, long distance I drive you you, you, you know, you're here in Europe, obviously, the European 24-hour races and that kind of shit. Yeah. But uh, I retired from last year. I mean, it's getting a bit, getting a bit old. I mean, I'm way over 50 now. So it's like, uh, got to take it slower now. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> that is really cool, though. Congratulations. I'm sure it was a great career. Uh, what, it was fun. Uh, if I'd have a choice again, I'd, I'd do it again. I'd do it the same thing again if I'd have a second chance. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you kill him! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was trying to give you all a tough time, but I...